peep this out guys, it's Ian K back again with another one for you. This time headed into Domino's to take a look at another one of their oven baked sandwiches. And this time I thought I'd keep it traditional and go with their version of the chicken parm. So let me run inside real quick to scoop this one up and then we'll definitely peep this out. I'm looking for some oven baked goodness from Domino's guys. Here comes their chicken parm sandwich and initially it's a little underwhelming. I mean, I'm all for toasted bread. That actually looks okay, but I guess it's what's inside that counts. Let's pop some of this artisan bread open and see what this one has to offer here. It looks like we've got some grilled chicken. We've got a little bit of that tomato basil marinara in there, along with what appears to be the Parmesan Asiago and some melted provolone. So a little light on the sauce here, but this is grilled chicken, so it's not exactly the pan-fried classic chicken parm I was thinking. But it does look pretty tasty, and I guess it is fairly plentiful on the inside. The cheese looks pretty decent here. Let me pop the top on the other side. This is minutes old, guys, so it is steaming up the car nicely. I really would have wished I've gotten just a little bit more sauce on the side possibly to go with this here, but it does look okay for what it is, even if it is kind of just the basic chicken parm sandwich here. It's got all the components of it. But we'll just have to see here, guys. Let's give this a go. It's the chicken parm oven baked sandwich here at Domino's. Let's peep out this flavor. It looks like it's missing a lot of the red I was expecting from the tomato sauce, guys. I mean, it does have that, but overall you're getting a lot of bread and a lot of chicken initially with some of that melted cheese. Let's get into it. It's the oven baked chicken parm here at Domino's. Well, as I feared, it's a little on the plain side. It's really in need of some more tomato sauce on here, guys. And although I am getting some nice flavor from the provolone as well as the Parmesan Asiago, naturally because there's really no stronger sauce to counterbalance that, the cheese is really standing out. And the grilled chicken's fairly juicy, along with the toastiness of the bread, the butteriness of it is really good. But it really needs a little bit more sauce to really make it worthwhile. It really does. The bread is just thick enough, but as you can see by this cross-section shot, it doesn't look like there's really too much meat in here, aside from maybe three chunks. And it is fairly juicy, but again, the sauce is what's really needed here to really give you a little bit more to bite into. The cheese is nice, it definitely goes nicely with it there. The meltedness is great on it. And while I do like the flavor, it just feels kind of generic. I mean, it really does need to be a pan-fried type of chicken to really make this one count, on top of needing more sauce. But the one good thing about this one, aside from just the okay flavor, is the fact that the cheese itself is toasted into the bread because it's baked naturally, it's gonna really caramelize up on the edges which I really like so the crunch that you're getting when you initially bite into it is really good and then you're getting just some pretty decent flavor from the chicken and the melted provolone along with some of the sharpness of the Parmesan Asiago so overall just okay guys just okay one more quick shot of those toasted edges there guys I really dig the fact that the provolone and the Parmesan Asiago crusts up just a little bit on the side so that is definitely a nice touch but again this just needs a little bit more of everything on the inside. The cheese is actually decent, like I said, and the quantity of it is good, but we need just a little bit more chicken, maybe a little bit more pan fried, and absolutely more tomato sauce. That's pretty much it. And hey, for $6.99, it's not bad. The fact that it is made to order and it is oven baked fresh is definitely a highlight here, but what do you guys think? Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the chicken parm over here at Domino's. Is this something that you think you'd wanna get? Because I'm a little on the fence if I would get this one again. I'd probably have to ask them maybe to add some additional cheese or maybe just a little bit extra meat there, but drop some comments down below and let me know what you guys thought. And as for the overall rating, I'm gonna have to give Domino's version of the chicken parm just an okay. Seven out of 10. It is definitely a fresh sandwich and it's a decent sandwich, but like you heard me say earlier, guys, it needs a lot more sauce, maybe a little bit more chicken, and it just needs just a little bit more of everything on the inside to really make it feel like you're biting into a classic chicken parm. And those are my thoughts on another one of the oven baked sandwiches here at Domino's as we close out another episode of Peep This Out, guys. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. So we've got the Italian, the chicken bacon ranch, the Mediterranean veggie, and the buffalo chicken left. Let me know which one you guys would like to see next in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to knock that one out in a future review. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.